Hi, I'm Shonda360 here and I'm here to tell you about some books that I have in my book collection. Okay, so I'm starting off with my friend's book, Samantha, aka Yukonam Dean. And yeah. So for this book, there are several authors, and she's one of them. And I only read her parts so far. <laughs> I only read her um, chapters so far. But yeah, here's something that I can leave with you from her section. That would be um, page 23. And it says, Always remember that your present situation is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. And this is a quote from Zig Ziglar. Then she says, From that day on, I built a wall so strong, no matter how bad people treated me, it never got me down. So this is just a, a small look into who this person is, okay? When I said strong, listen. Listen. But, um, you know, the strong ones still need um, a little word of encouragement now and then. But... Yeah, that's my book. All right, the next book is Ego is the Enemy. All right, so, so when time you feel like you yeah, get above yourself a little bit too much, just think about the title. Mm -hmm. And it will bring you right back down to size, all right? So this is a book that my friend lent to me. Um, he hasn't collected it back as yet. So <laughs> that's the reason why it's still in my possession. But... <coughs> I'm just gonna open it up to a random page. Alright, so this is page. This is page two. Alright, so this is page two of the introduction, and, and it says. So it says the need to be better than, more than, recognized for, far past any reasonable utility. That's ego. It's the sense of superiority and certainty that exceeds the bounds of confidence and talent. Alright, so yeah, it caught me down to size more than one time. Good book. Alright, uh, the next one is <coughs> Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Just by reading the contents, um, it will give you an idea of what this book is about. Habit one would be be proactive. Two, begin with the end in mind. Three, put first things first. Four, think win-win. Five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Six, synergize. Seven, charm the saw. But yeah, it's a real good book. It's good to have on hand so you can um you know, draw from the lessons inside and make yourself a better person. <laughs> this is my cousin's book. She hasn't come for it as yet, so it's still in my collection. <laughs> Alright, this one, Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. Almost my namesake. Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually my book. I'm going to open it up to one of the highlighted pages. And it says... My father used to tell us, the only obstacle to your success is your own imagination. Facts. Year of yes. Alright, so this book I got as a gift um, a couple years ago when I started my journey on self-discovery and all them good stuff. So it is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Um, the most profound thing that I can remember is that um, um, when you remember people's names it really makes a difference you know because their names are like the sweetest sound ever <laughs> that's what I remember what gems there are some gems in this oh I wrote something here in the, in the book be hearty in your approbation and lavish in your praise Next up, <laughs> act like a lady, think like a man. So this is another book that my cousin has left um, at my house. Alright, so let me just randomly go to a page and see if I can find any gems again. Oh, look at this. <laughs> page 76. Now, revealing that you're a keeper is no guarantee that this guy won't just walk away. Some men really are just sport fishing and have no intention of doing anything more than throwing back the woman they bed. Love yourself, ladies. Next book. 
Play Like a Man, Win Like a Woman by Gail Evans. Alright, so this is my book. <clears throat> I have so many gems that I have highlighted. Let me just, just go to one. Alright, here's one. Page 53. The mark of a good player is the ability to improvise. Sticking to a specific plan leading to a specific goal limits your ability to do so. You have to know when to um, when to adjust the sales, I guess. Yeah. Um, here's another page, page 105. Um, this is mostly like a leadership book, as you can see. Play like a man, win like a woman. What men know about success that women need to learn. Alright, um, page 105. Each member of your team brings his or her own unique talents to the playing field. You can improve yours by taking advantage of all the talents around you. Listen, you do not have to know it all and do it all. That's why it's a team. Together, like more than one people, everyone achieve, achieves more. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oprah Winfrey Speaks. Alright, my book. Page 101. Life is a lot like a marathon. If you can finish a marathon, you can do anything you want. <laughs> this one, Eat, Pray, Love. Elizabeth Gilbert. I did not read this as yet, but I watched the movie. So I think it's a piece of the movie. But it was, it was so cute. So I saw this book and I bought it. <laughs> a couple years ago. Alright, the next one. Quiet. So this is The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking, Susan Cain. Alright, so of course the title grabbed me, being the introvert that I am. Yeah, so <laughs> I started it, really interesting. I'm gonna um, find pages that I've highlighted. In this section there was a, a little who are false section. Um, to see which of them applies to you more often than not. So for example, I prefer one-on-one -on -one conversations to group activities. That is true. I often prefer to express myself in writing. I enjoy solitude a million times. I seem to care less than my peers about wealth, fame, and status. Yes. In the middle. <laughs> I dislike small talk, but I enjoy talking in depth about topics that matter to me. That is also true. But yeah, I'm, I should finish this book. The next one, <laughs> this is just so cute. A Short Guide to a Happy Life by Hannah Quindlin. Quindlin? Yeah. These are some quotes that the author remembers. If you win the rat race, you're still a rat. That is one of the quotes. And here's another quote, and it's by John Lennon. It says, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. I guess you should live in the know. Anyway, a four hour work week. Timothy Ferris. Tim Ferris. Yes, so I did not read this book. I actually listened to the, the audio version. But what really stood out to me was um, to create systems, you know, put systems in place so that things can run smoothly whether or not you are present. So yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a four hour work week? Yep. Amazing. Alright. Um <laughs> Oh my god, I read this in I read this in high school and I went by my grandma's house and I saw it and I I borrowed it but I did not return it. <laughs> because I, I keep rereading it, but it's it's just so funny. Oh my god, so this is Miguel Street by VS Nepal. Yeah. It's set in Trin Trinidad and Tobago, I think yeah. And listen, you want to go twist in a story? Yes, we need to about plot twist. Listen, listen, you make it done. Listen, I don't remember all of the parts of speeches right now, but you can find all of them in another book here. There's this carpenter in it that kept um, making a thing without a name, and one only passed up. Listen, what are political gems in this? Um, it's just really, it's a really, really creative piece. Alright, I forgot to mention this gem right here. Um, in this book, Googled, makes me appreciate the brand and the company so much more. Google's, um, what do you call it, a tagline? Or the motto that they live by is don't be evil, you know? So, it's, it's more 
much more than you know just making the millions and billions of dollars you know they want they genuinely so it seems they genuinely want to make people's lives easier and better i don't know if you've noticed on the google search page our home page <laughs> you know when you're going to search for something randomly there's no there are no ads or anything on that page they just want you to go search for your information get your information and go because you have things to do you know so i really appreciate that about them they're keeping everything as simple as possible here is something google fervently believes it is shaping a new and better media world by making the process of buying advertising more rational and transparent in its view the company serves co consumers by offering advertising as information yeah. This book was in the early 2000s and to this day you can get the gist of what their aim is you know because usually you'd spend a whole bunch of money on ads and you don't know if they're actually reaching your target audience or how they're interacting with with your ads etc but um, Google has revolutionized that um, that industry when you pay for ads you can know if they're reaching the right audience you can know their age um, group you can know where they live you know their buying behaviors all of that so amazing and so that's um some of the books that i have in physical copies all right so i'm going to be showing you the ebooks that i have on my phone and some of them I hope that you've enjoyed a little collection that I have going on here. Leave a comment below and let me know what book you're currently reading, what book from my collection you've read before or planning to read. Leave some suggestions on books that I can um, add to my collection as soon as I um, read the ones that I haven't read before. <laughs> it's like I want to really soak up the information, soak up the knowledge from these books um, and really, really apply them to my life before, you know, delving into other books, which I do. I'm always collecting books. <laughs> Leave your suggestions just the same. But I really need to stress the importance that you need to apply what you've read so that you'll see growth. And I'm seeing growth. I'm definitely seeing growth. So until my next video, <laughs> bye.